Safeties Micah Hyde and Jordan Poyer have taken the Bills' defense to an elite level. They've combined for 10 interceptions on the year and are a huge part of Buffalo's second-ranked pass defense. Poyer and Hyde give Buffalo the ability to mix coverages. Both have the ability to play down in the box, have good ball skills, and can cover space in the secondary. That allows the Bills to change looks post-snap, which gives the Bills a lot of flexibility. The Bills play a lot of man coverage, cover three buys, and cover seven, but they get to all those looks in different ways. They love to spin Hyde or Poyer down into man coverage, back into a deep quarter, or into a robber roll. Both of them are dynamic enough to do each of those things, and they can fit in boxes and make tackles and also cover in space. Cover 3 buzz is a way to disguise cover 3, and teams do that by showing two safeties and then dropping one down into the middle of the field to occupy the middle hook area. That movement frees up linebackers to play games up front and for the outside linebackers to vacate out to the flats more quickly. Since it happens post-snap, the Bills can stay in their two safety shell until the last second when either Poyer or Hyde buzz down. Here, Hyde is the buzz player rotating down into the hook zone. Buffalo is disguising this as cover two man with the corners all aligned squared to the receivers. However, at the snap of the ball, the corners bail and the safeties rotate, giving a completely different look for rookie quarterback Mac Jones. That change in coverage causes Jones to hesitate and misfire. Cover one robber has the same general principle, but with the safety coming down and everyone else in man coverage underneath. The Bills run a variation of this with some of their pressure packages. Instead of dropping into the middle hole, the safety is now attached in man coverage and one of the linebackers is blitzing. It's a huge luxury to have not one, but two safeties that can hold up in man coverage with some top tier talent. I wouldn't say it's super smart to isolate them all the time, but again, it gives Buffalo tremendous flexibility to diversify their looks. On this play, it's Poyer that rotates and comes down. Poyer is generally the better coverage guy when in man and takes away the number three receiver from Carolina. That forces Cam Newton to hold onto the ball and take a sack. The Bills will give the same looks with Poyer and Hyde. They're not scared of rotating either one down. That's really almost regardless of the matchup they're going to get, whether it's rotating a guy down on, onto Rob Gronkowski or a team slot receiver. They're both talented enough to get the job done. Jordan Poyer can get a little over-aggressive at times, but generally he has some better click and close ability than Micah Hyde, whereas Hyde tends to be a little more physical and a better tackler. Sometimes Buffalo will just do away with the games entirely and line up one of their safeties man-to-man -man and say, hey, just go win and cover that guy. An added bonus for all the rotation and movement from Poyer and Hyde is their ability to blitz them off of the edge. If they both frequently hang out down near the line of scrimmage, it makes it much more difficult for teams to figure out if they're blitzing or not. What looks like a normal rotation down or away can turn into a blitz. The Bills will also rotate out of some of those pressure or man looks to get to their base two safety shells where they'll run a variety of coverages. Here they're using a cover seven look with a meg call at the top of the screen. Cover seven is a version of cover four with man match principles that was really popularized by Nick Saban at Alabama. In that coverage, the safeties are reading the number two receiver to the number one receiver. That's what Poirier is doing at the bottom of the screen. As soon as he identifies Rob Gronkowski, the number two receiver, is breaking off his route, he goes to help on the number one receiver who's attacking vertically. To the top, the Bills should have a switch call on with the number two receiver on the line of scrimmage. Usually in those formations, the offense is trying to create rubs there. Uh, with a switch call, the corner would stay on number one unless that receiver goes behind number two. And that's exactly what happens, but the Bills don't have a switch call on and instead have man coverage to that side of the field. That creates a rub for Godwin, who's aligned outside as the number one. Hyde and Poyer both have the range and skill to run all of those coverages, and disguise is a huge part of the NFL, especially when you're playing elite quarterbacks and offenses. Where Hyde and Poyer start to differentiate is their contributions in the run game and their coverage skills. Poyer might have more tackles, but he really struggles to shed blocks and finish those tackles. Now, neither of them are huge guys, so especially against tight ends or offensive linemen, they can have some trouble. On the flip side, Hyde is much more physical, and while he can still get bullied by offensive linemen, he's a much more consistent tackler in the open field. Ultimately, though, neither one is really expected to be a huge contributor in the run game. Buffalo will walk down Hyde into the box more just because he's a little more solid there and he has the ability to at least force things back inside, but both of them can get the job done at least adequately there and down in the box. Having both Micah Hyde and Jordan Poyer on the field is invaluable for the Bills. They allow Buffalo to run basically whatever coverage they want on defense, disguise, and walk a guy down into the box without having to change personnel. 
with both signing deals recently and the way Buffalo's defense is playing, the Bills are in good hands with the dynamic duo keeping a cap on the back end. Hey guys, I appreciate you watching all the way through. Make sure you drop a comment. Let me know someone, a scheme, idea, person who you want to see broken down here in the future. I'm also releasing a speaking football course that goes over the basics of the language of football, what techniques are, what alignments are. So if you're interested in that, check out the link in the description.